In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Unlimited Bundles and Discounts app for Shopify. This is going to be a complete beginner's tutorial and it's going to teach you everything you need to know. So first things first, go down to the description. There's going to be a link at the top of the description. Click that button and it will take you to this page to help you install it. From here, you can press this install button and it should open up a pop-up on your Shopify store. And you should be able to install it here. And this should make the app ready to go. Now from here, it's going to get you to do some onboarding. So we'll just click get started and it's going to ask for some of your information. And in the next step, it's going to get you to go ahead and verify the app and install it on your theme. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to go over to online store and I'll just open that in a new tab. And we're going to go over to where it says customize. And then in the top left hand, we're going to go down to where it says app embeds. And you should see it here, Revy bundle script. You want to turn this on press save then go back and you want to press the verify button and you can see now it's been installed onto our store properly so we want to press next and it's going to ask us for the primary color of our theme now this means our add to cart button so what i'd recommend doing is going over to your theme and just finding the color of your add to cart button so go down to colors go down to schemes um, or go onto your here and just basically find the um, button color and just use that so you can pick a different color as well you can just pick this color here or whatever color you want the add cart button to be we'll press next and it's going to ask for our primary language just put that in and now it's going to ask you what you want to do with the app you can just select one of those it doesn't really matter now that we've done that it's time to start creating some bundles so it's going to take you a page that looks like this that says create bundle and we're going to go ahead just call it something one just call it you know bundle one or something and then for priority basically if you've got um multiple bundles there will be priorities and one will show up above the other one and the higher the number the higher the priority basically so just keep that in mind so next up we're going to be we're going to have to ch uh, check what type of bundle we want so we can either have a standard one a quantity and volume, a mix and match, or a mix and match products. So a standard one just looks like this, where it's like get this product and this product and get a discount. The quantity slash volume one is like buy two of these, buy three of these, buy four of these, and get X amount off, as you can see. This one here is you should buy um, one thing from one collection, one thing from another collection. And then this here is that you should buy um, basically multiple products. So we'll just start with this standard one here and we can just select any of these and it's just going to change it. But we'll start off with here and first of all we're going to go ahead and select our products. So I've just got this one product here. I'm going to add that in there and it's going to ask us for a discount. So this is how much the person's going to get as a reduction for adding the bundle. You can either do it as a discount percent, you can do it as an amount off, that will be in the currency of your store so that'll be 10 pound off for my store if i put 10 and it's also going to ask you for a fixed price so a fixed price basically means that this is the price the bundle will be so for example if i put 50 it'd be 50 pound for the whole bundle so keep that in mind that if you have multiple items in here this might not work if it's um if, if they're very different values Next up, we've got our text. So this is going to be the title. This is by bundle and save. You can change that. And you've got a success message. This is after they add the bundle um, to their cart or whatever. Next up, we've got placement. So this shows where do you want to place this bundle. So you can show it on product pages and you can select the product pages you want to show it on. So this is just one product here. I can either turn it on or off. You've got bundle pages. You've got embed bundle. And you've got other product pages as well. And you can select other product pages that you want it to be on. Now next up we've got this bit here which is the embed section. So you can use this here to embed it anywhere on your site. So if I show you that here, if I go onto Shopify, I can go ahead and add a block here. And I would add custom liquid. And inside the custom liquid I would paste that in. And I would click save. And if I drag this up here it should be above the title uh, it might take a second to load but that should show up there eventually 
Another way that we can also embed it if that way isn't working is we can go ahead and click add block. We can go over to apps and we go over to embed bundle here. And it's going to ask us for a bundle ID. Now to get that bundle ID, we can go back onto the bundle and you should see here it says bundle ID. We can go ahead, copy that, paste that in here, hit save. And that should put the bundle in. Now I think for me it's not showing up because I only have one item in the bundle so it's not technically registering as a bundle. But if you have set it up with multiple products it should work. You can select a start and end date for the bundle and you can also add some custom text if you want um, on the bundle. This here is a dynamic tag and um, this will change based upon the discount of the total that kind of thing. So we can go ahead here and click save and oh yeah we have to have two items here. Now once we've created our first one it's going to tell us to go to the product page here and it's going to just make us check that the bundle works and you see yes the bundle works here. So we can go ahead and press the next step and we can say I have completed the above step and I can see the bundle. And we can press sure here and it's going to ask us for a review. We can go ahead and do that if we would like to. Now if we go to the left hand side here we can see bundles. We can just go ahead create a new bundle here just like we would before. Now as you can see on the basic plan we can only have one bundle. So if we want to have more than one we're going to have to go ahead and upgrade to some of the paid plans. Next up we've got batches. So this allows you to create a group of bundles at once. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, you can just basically do it all in one go basically and we'll just generate the bundles for you which is quite easy to do. Pretty, pretty much the same as creating a, a bundle. Next up we have the settings tab. So in settings we've got a lot of things like um, redirects. So you can change where it redirects to once they've added the cart. You've got lots of you know your designers here. You've got some text options. You've got some cart tips uh, such as you know it will, it will encourage them to add to cart. You've got other related bundles. You've got add to cart stuff. All of that kind of stuff there. Next up we have metrics. This is a good way to see which bundles are popular and basically see you know how the upsells are doing. So you can view all of that here and it will allow you to split test bundles, um, all that kind of stuff here. Uh, next up we've got the integrations tab here and integrations allows us to integrate with other apps. So they only got these integrations for now on this end but if you go into a different app like Pageflow or something like that you should be able to integrate it in there pretty easy or you can use the blocks that we spoke about. That's basically how you use the Unlimited Bundles app for beginners. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it did help you out so other people can see the same video and get the same advice. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.